The speed at which the information around coronavirus is evolving is very fast. We have to remember that this disease was not here, that we did not know about it six months ago. So there's a lot we need to learn about the virus in a very short time. So with that, it's the responsibility of medical professionals and medical societies to take the information they have at the time and make the best choices. But then also be very cautious about looking for additional information, both in the literature, through developing studies, and collaborating and communicating with other physicians or other specialists in the community so that we can change as new information becomes available. Early on, we thought uh, as a country, as a nation, as a world, we thought that pediatrics and children were not as strongly affected. And but what we're learning as the disease goes on is that they can be asymptomatic carriers and potentially be a source of spread to others. But also, as we see more cases, as we have ability to test more, we can identify um, different manifestation of the symptoms. So how does the disease actually affect kids? And we're seeing that it's a little bit different than it is in adults. It can be confusing, it can be tricky to follow guidelines and see the guideline be different today than it was a month ago, two months ago. That's actually a benefit because it means we're learning about the disease, we're gathering more information, and the information and recommendations we have are just in increasingly more accurate. They're just a little bit better each time, they're based on a little more science, a little more knowledge and are going to help you be a little more safe as time evolves. As medical professionals, we've chosen this career to help people. We want to make sure that we're giving you the most accurate information we can because we care about your health. We care about the health of the community and we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't think that way.